Good evening and welcome to another Inspector Lestrade's casebook. This week we are going to be looking at the murder at Haversham Hall. It was a case which made my reputation at Scotland Yard. Now you may be asking yourselves, how come that old fellow thinks that he was so cool? But let me tell you, I will take you back to the day when I was an attractive, handsome, powerful young man of only 53 years through the magic of technology. And as if by magic, here we are. I was called to the hall at Havisham, the Havisham Hall, just outside Northolt one evening. It was a cold, dark, rainy night. When I got to the murder scene, Lord Havisham was face down on the library floor. His body was lifeless. He was clutching in his hand an empty whiskey bottle. There were no marks on his body, and I assumed that he had been poisoned. The test results from the lab proved that his, the cyanide had been administered through his last drink. There were three suspects to question. The first was Lady Havisham. She was a good deal younger than her husband and too glamorous for her own good. With looks like that, it was no wonder they called her the Havisham Hottie. Second, there was Jeeves the butler. He had been with his family for many years and had fought in the same regiment as his lordship. He didn't say much, but the question was, was he being as silent as the grave? And then finally, there was Amy. She was young, and if you ask me, not too bright. That's why she was working as a maid. And she, was she the question was, was she in fact dumb or was she covering up the fact that she was a criminal mastermind so i began to question them i've called you all into the study this evening to ask you about the poisoning of lord havisham lady havisham i will start with you tell me what you remember from that evening what can i say the evening went as it usually did I was out partying until late. I came home. I had the usual argument with Lord Havisham about me being out until all hours. Then Amy brought me in the whiskey and the water. Well, Amy brought you in the whiskey and water, eh? Yes. She brought in the tray, stood to one side while I had a couple of whiskies. Then we both left at the same time. His lordship must have had a drink after we left. He was too busy yelling at me while I was in the room. I went to bed. Amy went back to the kitchen. So you and your husband didn't get on then, Lady Havisham? Oh, when we met, there were many things I liked about him. And um, what were they? Well, I, I mean, his, his Rolex, his, his Rolls Royce, his estate in the country, his multi-million pound business, you know, the usual sort of thing. And I suppose he's left everything to you. Of course, I am now rich beyond my wildest dreams. Hmm. Well, that provides you with a motive and an opportunity to commit murder. Amy, uh, tell us about your evening. Well, I had my tea about five o'clock. I always take it then because I don't, I have to serve dinner at seven. I have beans on toast, Heinz beans, because I don't like other brands. And I had two slices of toast, but I cut the crust off. Uh, do you think you could get to the important details, Amy? Oh, of course. <laughs> I had stim beaches afterwards. Well, I said the important details. Well, there is an important detail. We don't usually get tim peaches. A man has died here this evening, Amy. And you need to tell us, uh, was there nothing else? Well... There was a tin of apricots, but I don't like them much. Amy, can you please tell us what happened when you took the whiskey up to his lordship? Oh, well, I was in the kitchen with Mr Jeeves, and he told me to take up the whiskey tray to his lordship. So I did what I always did with a new bottle. The master says, whenever I open a new bottle of whiskey, I am to wash the decanter in water. Undo the top of the new bottle and pour it straight in. 
No one could have put anything poison in the whiskey except, uh, oh. Except you. How did you know I was thinking that? I love you, pet you. I never killed no one. I never did anything wrong in my life except. Except what, Amy? Oh, I went back to the kitchen and while Mr. Jeeves wasn't looking. <laughs> I never killed no one. Only trouble is his lordship said if I ever got caught stealing again, I would get the sack. And then I got caught again last week. I'm starting to think I might have an addiction. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, so far, we have Lady Havisham, who has a motive and an opportunity, because she would have inherited all of that money. And we have Amy, who was worried about getting the sack and may have done something to protect her job. I wouldn't have worried about getting the sack if it was full of tin peaches. Oh, right. We have to remember these details. Okay, Jeeves, what do you remember? <clears throat> well, sir, it was I who found his lordship. I heard a loud thud sometimes after the shouting stopped. And a short while after I heard her ladyship went upstairs. Hello, I says. That thud sounds like a dead weight falling on the library floor. So I gathered myself together, went to the library, and there was his lordship, face down. So I checked if he was breathing, and then I ran the police. And what did you, what about before that? Did you see Amy wash out the decanter bottle, open the new bottle of whiskey, and pour it straight in? Yes, sir. How long have you known his lordship, Jeeves? 25 years, sir. We were together in the beaches of Dunkirk. He was my commanding officer. Oh, Dunkirk, eh? So you were one of the British army that escaped her, were you? Uh, well, not exactly, sir. I, I didn't get away. I was captured and spent five years in the prison of war camp. Uh, and his lordship? Well, he got away, sir. In fact, I was about to get on the last boat when he told me he had forgotten some vital papers and sent me to get them. When I get, got back, the last boat had gone. Oh, you must have been bitter about that. Bitter, sir. About five years in a Nazi prison camp. Well, well, a bit. But I served his lordship well, from his first cup of tea in the morning to his last glass of whiskey and water in the evening. I cared for that man, for next to no thanks and even worse pay. Look, this is absolutely ridiculous. Someone else entirely must have got into the room after us. None of us can be suspects. Think about it. I came home, Amy brings up the whiskey, I drank the whiskey so Amy couldn't have put cyanide in it, or I would be dead too. I couldn't have put poison in the whiskey after I drank it because Amy was standing right next to me until I left the room. And Jeeves, well, Jeeves couldn't have put the poison in the whiskey because, as I said, I drank it and he didn't come up to the room. Someone else must have got into the room. Well, Lady Havisham, you are correct in everything you say. But I now know that one of you is guilty of the murder at Haverson Manor. <gasps> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is your opportunity. Have a good think. Who do you think is guilty of the murder at Haverson Manor? We will resume our performance now. Oh, I bet it was me. I, I mean, it wasn't me, but I, I bet it was. Amy, I'm happy to say it wasn't you. You may be rather too fond of peaches, but you are not a murderer. Oh, good. I thought I hadn't killed anyone tonight, but I am a bit forgetful. What did you think? What did you take up to his lordship, Amy? I told you, Eddie Kent are full of newly opened whiskey. And what else? A tray. Yes, and what else? A napkin. We could be here all evening. Lady Havisham, how do you take your whiskey? I take it straight, no ice, no lemon, just um, straight out of the decanter. Hmm. What about his lordship? 
Oh, my husband never could hold his drink. He always took it with a dash of water. Amy, for the last time, what was on the tray apart from the decanter of whiskey and a napkin? Nothing! Just a jug of water! Oh, Mr. Jeeves put on the tray when I was emptying the bottle of whiskey into the decanter! Lady Havisham, your husband was not killed by poisoned whiskey, but by poisoned water. Cyanide was added to the jug of water just before it left the kitchen. By you, Jeeves. <gasps> Curses. Uh, you are correct, of course. After five years in the prison camp and 20 years of fetching and carrying for that posh twit, I couldn't take it any longer. I confess. And I'm proud of it too. <gasps> and so, ladies and gentlemen, that was the resolution of the murder at Havisham Manor. Jeeves went to prison for a very long time. Lady Havisham, if I remember correctly, opened a donkey sanctuary and Amy invented an electric tin opener and retired a very rich woman. That concludes the case for this evening. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe. <laughs>